Hey there, I suppose you have a question on filling out a Nevada title. Well, here it is in a couple of seconds. I've blacked out some of the information so that you can't see whose title this is. This is actually a real copy of a Nevada title. Um, a couple things you need to look out for. First of all, ID the person you're buying the car from. The owner's name right here should be the same name as what's on the driver's license. If it's anything other than that, you should give me a call right away. Actually, not me necessarily, but anybody at my company. And we'll walk you through what needs to be done to make sure that you're making a wise purchase. Uh, we don't know everything, but I think we might know more than the average person about processing titles, given that we've done this hundreds of thousands of times. So, make sure the name here is the same name that you're buying it from. Secondly, if the mail to name is different, that's no big deal. That's just where they got the title mailed. Not a big deal. So, here's what you need to make sure you do. Here in green, where it says signature seller, make sure the person that's right here is the person that signs right here. If there's two names on here, and there's an or between the two names, an or between the two names up here, don't worry about it, just have one person sign. If there's an and, then both parties would have to sign. They'll just sign one here, and they'll sign one here. If the names match, and they've signed here, you're done. Congratulations. Just make sure you look at the back of the title, and it should be completely blank, and it should look just like this. This is the most current Nevada title as of 2019. Don't worry about this, this was a different video. But the back should be completely blank. If it's got writing on it, you should give us a call right away. You might be getting yourself into a sticky situation. So, that's the long story short on how to fill out a Nevada title. All the stuff in blue will help you do that when you come into the office. Or if you're out of state or can't come into the office, we can walk you through it over the phone and you can FedEx the documents to us and we'll go take care of it. Take care, God bless. Two quick things I forgot to mention, I just wanna add this onto the end. The first thing you should do is look at the VIN number here on the title. Make sure it's 17 digits long. If it's not, you could have a problem. It might be okay. Call us right away if it's not, and I can let you know, or somebody can let you know, if the deal is real. Secondly, check that number against the VIN number on the car. It sounds simple, but most people don't do it. The VIN number is either located on the dash, on the driver's side through the windshield, or on the driver's door or the driver's door jam. Number two, this little Nevada thing that's purple, push on it, put some pressure on it, get it warm. If it doesn't change colors, it's not a real title. We're here to help.